I now invite Her Excellency Ms. Retno Lestari Priansari uh, Marsudi, Minister for Foreign Affairs of Indonesia. Indonesia supports peace and security around the world by providing over 2,700 officers to UN peacekeeping missions, just as one small fact that I would like to introduce you with. The floor is yours, Her Excellency. Well, thank you. Thank you very much for having me. And to start with, of course, happy 75th anniversary of UDHR. Colleagues, I would like to pick up what my brother, Riyad, just mentioned. It is very sad that the time, at the time when we celebrate the 75th anniversary of the Universal Declaration of Human Rights, we remain seeing the gross violation of human rights in Palestine and Gaza. Killing civilians, destruction of hospitals, places of worship and refugee camps, and depriving Palestinians of their basic right should never be justified as self-defense. These are simply breaches of international humanitarian law. These unprecedented horrors are a major regress and even an attack on global human rights agenda. Therefore, colleagues, I would like to propose three important points for the global community to work on, especially related to Palestine issue. First, we need to renew our collective commitment to human rights agenda. Commitment to be human rights defenders means we should not be mute to defend justice and humanity. And I deeply regret that the UNSC's continued failure to adopt a resolution for a humanitarian ceasefire. It represents a failure of an outdated multilateral system. Therefore, commitment to human rights should be renewed and we have to employ resources and influence to assist Palestinians to regain their dignity. Second, reject double standard on human rights agenda. Double standard is the biggest problem on the implementation of human rights. Those who were lecturing us about human rights now allowing the occupying power to breach all human rights standards. Implementation of human rights should not be selective or only when the mighty says fit. What happened in Gaza is a grave, systematic and widespread violation of human rights and therefore a thorough investigation on the ground should be undertaken. And third, end the cycle of human rights violation through peace process. Colleagues, 75 years ago, we agreed that human rights, peace and security are interdependent, interrelated and mutually reinforcing. The root cause of the Palestinian question should be addressed. A genuine peace process must be restarted toward a two-state solution. And that is what Indonesia, the OIC countries, and many countries have been urging all countries, the P5 in particular. So colleagues, to conclude, the global community will never achieve universalization of human rights agenda if we do not address the plight of the Palestinian people. And we must act in solidarity and we must act now. I thank you very much. Thank you, Your Excellency.